Hey, what's up guys? So it's time for part two of our personal solar system and our RV that powers our life every single day. So before I covered the Victron stuff down here, inverters and solar controllers, since then I've added the security camera to our security camera system, which gives me the ability to see the hits driving down the road, but also allows me to see stuff I store under here when we are parked. So at some point I am going to make a video about this security camera system. This isn't no blink camera system. This is much better than that and something that I would offer to install for people. So anyways, for the whole purpose of this video, the solar on the roof. So here it is, guys, all 6,600 watts. Oh, there's a limey laying on the ground there, too. Always got to have a limer in her in the video. So here from the other side, if you guys remember from part one, I had four solar controllers. So that very front angled panel there, that's on its own 30 amp solar controller. And then I got three of them in series. So the next three here are in series. And then I got four. In series and then the last four are in series so that makes 6600 watts total i've seen as high as 7300 watts on the screen from this guy so it may be even higher than that because i'd have to dive into the vrm data to know for sure but i caught that on the screen there's a good chance it's been even higher than that so there's starlink on the back that lives its life there permanently we use it going down the highway starlink has recently just changed their roaming package to include in motion use but of course now they raise the price to 165 dollars a month but his what it is not a big deal starlink's a big part of our life we couldn't live without it you can see that panel sticks out over the back there a little bit about 10 12 inches i was a little torn on whether i was going to be okay but i'm glad i decided to keep the 12th panel to get 6600 watts so i'll take you guys up on the roof here and we can take a little bit closer look at things so again this is not really a how-to video or nor am i even really giving you guys a parts list i was somewhat torn on how much information i give about this rack just because this isn't necessarily intended for in motion use it's a residential racking system that i make some modifications to to make sure it stays there so if you hire me i know it's staying there forever but i'm not necessarily giving the information for everybody to just go out there and do it themselves so ultimately it is fairly basic i mean it's basically like a pole and a rail there's about eight different parts of this racking system that i bought to piece it all together to make it work how it is then there's a lot of sealant, screws, and knowledge needed to put this together to make sure it stays there forever and doesn't go flying off on you going down the highway. So here's my accent lighting stuck down to the roof here. As you can see, uh, I really like this. I think it looks pretty sweet at night. I put some sealant here. You can see like where the extra heavy white is because I didn't want it to blow off on me. But then I also left some gaps for water to escape because I'm not trying to trap water between these two runs that go down the roof here. So... So I can actually walk down both sides of this rack. I'm probably not going to want to do this when I'm 65 years old, but at 40 years old, it don't bother me to shimmy down the edge to get to where I need to be, especially if I can get to a slide that I can crawl underneath. So here's my combiner box for everything. I mean, this kind of started as just a combiner box for the strings of solar, but then as I've added stuff, it's been a perfect place to get the wires down into the RV. So the Starlink, the security cameras, the backup camera, and the roof lighting all come to this box and that's how everything gets down and gets powered whatever there's 15 16 different wires that run down there so now here i'm actually underneath the rack so there is enough room for me to crawl under here and crawl around if i need to do something and i don't want to have to remove panels to do that it's honestly pretty easy to move some panels i mean with just a wrench in a couple of minutes of my time i can remove the four ufos and flip the panel out of the way and access whatever I need to, whether I need to work on an air conditioner or what. So these running G panels have nice little short ca cables, so they're perfect for putting panels together in series. Uh, you can see I got all my wires kind of running down the rail here. They're managed as good as possible. So let's take you up the back here for just another little perspective of things. So again, here on the back of the rail, we got Starlink. So this is the Gen 3 Starlink mounted with the mobility mount. I just had an aluminum plate welded to a piece of the aluminum rail and bolted it on there. And voila, it stays there all the time. Now you can see I got a couple patches on the roof there. So that's why I really want to coat this entire roof, which is going to happen here sometime here soon. This whole roof is going to get coated all the way to an inch or two up the standoff. So the whole base is going to get covered and sealed. That's the only thing that would make this roof fall apart as if it rotted so there you go guys again i will talk to anybody about this reach out not that hard to find my phone numbers out there go to our website ccrvsolar.com i'd certainly love to build a rack or any solar system for you guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe